What's up guys, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can estimate in Congenius. So I, if you need more detail or more in-depth videos, um, we have more of those in our playlist on YouTube, um, as well as you can access those on the, on the dashboard as well as in our help center. Today, we're just gonna dive straight into estimating in Congenius. So I've already created a project, I have a project contact here as well and a location. Um, and then I'm just gonna jump over to the estimate tab. So when you jump to the estimate tab, one thing I wanna make sure you don't miss is starting with sections, then you'll add your items, then you'll add your markup, and then you'll be able to specify the level of detail that you want your customer to see on your proposal or your estimate on the preview tab. So I'll quickly work through that. So I'm just gonna specify my sections here. Let's do some flooring, um, painting, and electrical. So I'm just building essentially the organization of this estimate. We're doing work in the kitchen and let's just say kitchen and family room. And then I want subsections to be, you know, the trades that I'm gonna be doing on this project. You can skip this step if you don't need to add sections or you're, you know, you specify in one trade and sections doesn't really make sense for it. And then we've also had contractors who start with the trade and then go room and areas. So a lot of different ways you can do that, but I'm just gonna structure it by room and area and then by trade for this estimate. Once I'm done with my sections here, I'm gonna to go to my items tab. On your items tab, you can just quickly add items to each section with these options here. Um, and you'll also see your catalog browser on the right hand side. So you have your catalog that'll appear. You'll have congenious templates. And you know I'll, I'll show you that in just a second with just some standard labor rates, um, as well as some assemblies that we've built out for you to help you leverage that. And then you'll also have access to Home Depot parts on the right hand side. So you can just click in and you'll be able to find you know building materials, and you'll be able to find Home Depot parts for whatever trade you're in. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my catalog. I'm gonna go to some assemblies that I have built and we're gonna paint and prime on this job. This is an assembly that I had built out already. I'll show you that. Um, so your catalog will make this experience a lot faster, but you can quickly build these items on your estimate as well. Let's do some flooring for this job. We're gonna install and finish three and a quarter inch hardwood flooring. I'm gonna add that to flooring. And then let's do some six inch recess lighting packages. Okay, so these assemblies are assemblies that I had already built in my catalog. And again, like I mentioned, if you go to the Congenius catalog, you'll be able to see some assemblies that we have built out as well that you could leverage, you know, based on trade. So be sure to browse those. Okay, so for example, a fence section, this is an assembly that the Congenius team built out and you'll be able to, browse and see kind of how we came up with this cost for this fence section, for example. Once you add that, so these assemblies have material, they have labor, they have, you know, any equipment or subcontractor rates um, all calculated um, with the level of detail so that that way you know how we came to that cost. The idea here is that you'd use these as a template and update them for your costs, but is a great starting point for you to, to start estimating faster. All right, so since I have all my assemblies already added here, I'm just gonna specify my quantities. So if you just grabbed measurements from the job and know those measurements, you can plug those in here. Or if you've used our measurement tool, you'll be able to specify um, which measurement that you're using for this as well. So let's use our area tool for this. Let's assign a waste factor, round up to the full square foot, and I'll set my quantity for that specific line item. And then my cost is calculated. So on this items tab, the idea is that you understand your costs and then you'll set your markup on that next tab. For paint and prime, you'd just be able to select that wall area that I got, set my quantity, and my cost is calculated. And I'll expand one of these and show you an assembly there. Um, let's just say there's 16 cans we're gonna do. So my costs are all calculated for this project. I'll open up this assembly and kind of show you. So this assembly shows you how we actually got to that quantity and that cost. So it has all my equipment you know, rates, all of my material rates, and my labor added to this with those calculations. So that that way I have my full list of everything that goes into installing and finishing three and a quarter inch hardwood flooring. I have to set the quantity once and you're just flying through your estimate. Okay, so let's say this is all we're doing for that job. You can see that breakdown of the cost down below as well. So let's go to our markup tab. So on the markup tab here, you'll specify your markup to cover your overhead and your profit. Let's just say it's 34%. I wanna exclude my allowances from that so that my profit and my overhead isn't added onto the allowance on the estimate. So I have my breakdown right here. You can specify any sales tax you wanna add or any other fees or discounts. If you have a contractor fee, for example, you may wanna add that down here. Once you're done with this step, everything looks accurate. I can move to my preview tab where I can specify what level of detail that I wanna to show to my customer here. So since I have those assemblies already built out, 
I can just have that level of detail here. Since I used assemblies, I have those descriptions added and I can just say, hey, I don't wanna show my assembly breakdowns. And then you can specify whether you wanna show your unit price, your quantity or your total. And one thing to note is since I had an allowance on my flooring assembly there, that's gonna be broken down, down below. It's gonna split that out from, from the cost up above. And you'll be able to see, you know, your allowance list of specific items that are included um, as allowances on your estimate as well. So let's just say we don't want to show unit price and quantity or total. We just want to show, you know, the grand total for flooring, for painting, for electrical. So again, specify the level of detail and then you can save that for future projects. So that's the idea of estimating Incongenious. Hope this helps.